A three-day-old newborn boy is brought to the pediatric clinic by his parents, who notice that his skin and the whites of his eyes have started turning yellow. The baby was born at 39 weeks via normal delivery, cried immediately after birth, and has been breastfeeding well. There were no complications during the pregnancy or delivery. The parents report that the yellow color was not present on the first day of life, but began gradually on the second day and has become slightly more noticeable today. The baby is otherwise active, feeding every two to three hours and producing adequate wet diapers. There is no fever, vomiting, poor feeding, or changes in activity level. On physical examination, the infant is alert and well-appearing. The yellow discoloration is most noticeable on the face and upper chest and fades toward the lower body. This pattern of progression is typical for mild jaundice. Vital signs are stable. The liver and spleen are not enlarged, and there are no signs of bruising or hemolysis. A transcutaneous bilirubin measurement shows a mildly elevated bilirubin level appropriate for the baby's age and hours. This pattern, onset after 24 hours, gradual increase on day two or three, and a well-appearing infant is classic for physiologic jaundice. Physiologic jaundice occurs because newborns naturally have a higher red blood cell turnover and an immature liver that is still learning to process bilirubin efficiently. As bilirubin builds up in the blood, it causes the familiar yellow discoloration of the skin and eyes. This is a normal transitional process in many healthy newborns because the baby is feeding well, active, and his bilirubin level falls within safe limits. He does not require phototherapy. The main treatment is frequent breastfeeding, which helps eliminate bilirubin through the stool. The parents are reassured but advised to monitor for worsening yellowing, poor feeding, unusual sleepiness, or decreased wet diapers. Key takeaway, physiologic jaundice typically appears after 24 hours of life, peaks around day three to five, and gradually resolves as the baby feeds well and the liver matures. It is a common, normal process but requires careful observation to distinguish from more serious causes of neonatal jaundice.